Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Schaefer D. We're in episode 32, and in this episode, we're going to be making some hay. I was just having a look at our crops here, you can see it's getting there. The heads are forming now, as you can see. It's a good deal. In the previous episode, we've planted this field which is a merged field now field 38 and field 39 is merged as one I did come and fertilize this field and I'm quite happy about the results so if we have a look over here our honey is getting there still got a lot of pallets to come in here 400 liters a pallet our bees are doing its thing. I'm not sure what the price is currently for honey. Let's have a look. Where is the honey on this list? There it is. 3,016 pounds per thousand liters. The highest it goes is in March. We're already in May, so it dropped substantially already. What's the highest price? 3,318 pounds. This is getting there. It's 100% yield bonus and 100% fertilizer. Happy about that. Our silo king, which is standing there. Ah. Now, here's our grass field. I don't think I'll be doing a time lapse on this one because I mean I might let's see how it goes but first things first <laughs> there's our little telehandler the telehandler is something else you pick up a bit too much it starts picking up the rear end into the air <laughs> That's the smallest bucket we could buy off the store list. Don't know why it's like that, but yeah. Last night I had a look at the microphone that I'm getting. Oh, I just can't wait for it to arrive. I've ordered myself a new television as well, or a gaming setup screen, just for you guys. can't wait for everything to get there so I'm gonna unfold that is it gonna pass there I hope so yeah just about it's just catching the curtain on there Lower that one. Why am I switching it? Okay, so let's get into it. Yes, I am cutting or mowing the extra grass on the side. That's a good deal all day long having extra grass that means my tractor can turn around I'll show you guys now why I say that otherwise I've been starting or I've been preparing I've downloaded a few mods from the mod up for our survival series that's coming up a good deal I've received a few comments on the rules and regulations that we must try to implement on that game on that game mode on the series I must say I'm, I'm quite excited to go that route it's gonna be something else for those who don't know I'm gonna be doing a series here on farming simulator 22 a survival series 
where I must start with no money whatsoever. We're going to be starting with one small tractor, possibly, and just a trailer or a vehicle and a trailer. So I need a vehicle and I need a trailer or just a vehicle like a pickup or something but you can leave a comment tell me what you think about it maybe a vehicle just a normal car a pickup and maybe a chainsaw I mean most of the survival start like that that is the only way that you can legitimately start something like that because you need something to start with you can't just go in there barehanded because what are you going to do to make money especially on a map where there's no contracts available that's one of the things that popped up that it must be a map where there is no contracts available so if you've got any ideas or things that you would like to see in a survival let's play or a survival series let me know, sorry that's my dogs going off there in the background there's cats next door and yes you know how it goes when there's cats and dogs involved they don't play well so yes if you want to see anything in that survival leave a comment and we will do our best or I will do my best to implement it the way that you guys want to see such a video or such videos so yes let me know and we put it in there on the second note thanks for those who have subscribed to my channel already it does really help a lot and for those who is busy watching my videos and for those who like click on the like button I do appreciate it in full thank you very much those who have subscribed I'll see if I can ask the fairies to send you a hundred earthworms to come and work your backyard for you <laughs> I really need to get to a thousand subs so yeah shortly I'll be doing green screen recordings live recordings that will be awesome I want to see if I can maybe push a 100th episode live recording. That will be neat. So I'm going to do a gameplay just based on live recordings. There will be no normal recordings, if I can put it that way. Everything will be on a live phase. So yeah, we're going to get to that as well. As you can hear, I've just woken up, brushed my teeth. I don't even have coffee yet. My voice sounds a bit croaky, but... It's still early morning. I'll have coffee as soon as I'm ready to have coffee. For now, it's all about making you guys some content here. As you can see, it's looking good, honey. So what we're aiming for is to get a cow shed, even if we have to start with a the smallest cow shed that you can get, that's fine. Because what my plans are is I want to take the milk, slurry and manure that we get out of there. I'm not going to use the fertilizer or the manure as fertilizer or the slurry as fertilizer yet. <coughs> sorry guys 
I want to sell everything that comes from the cows. Reason for that is I need to take that money and maybe the excess money to progress to buy a bigger cow shed. Now I know we need a bigger harvester and a bit larger tractors, but that will come with time. I know before I hit episode 100 I want to have my dream tractor in the game which I haven't played with on FS22 and my dream harvester in this game so that's gonna be a nice addition and I wanna get a few factories I wanna see if I can push to get most of the factories on here so that we can play most of the factory based that will be amazing just before I kick over to another series on here the reason why I'm backing up and going forward is up when you turn you tend to miss a little bit that's what I wanted to avoid to or to avoid what I also want to buy before we end this is the self-propelled mower I think it's by Crone. It's such a nice unit to have. So yeah, thanks everybody for subscribing so far. I do appreciate it. I would love to see my subscriber count climb with maybe 100 or 200 within the next month. That will help me out so much. So please support this by clicking the subscribe button get me to that numbers my goal is 200 within a month if I can get to a thousand that will e be even better for you viewing just click on the subscribe it's all you have to do it's not I'm not asking a lot and then if you can just watch my entire video that will help as well Got so many people just watching the intro and they fast forward and watch the end. Please do watch the entire video. That will help me out a lot as well. So let's get back to this. So the reason why we're doing grass today is I need to get some hay in my storage. important for the cows we've got grass bales for the sheep but first we need to get the cows going let's switch off all of this units pick that up and fold it pick that is uh, picked it up and fold it up okay so we at least done with the mowing aspect now comes the other aspect where we have to windrow it or tether it first sorry guys yeah tether it first tether means that you need to dry out your crops first or your grass I'm talking in circles this morning because like I said, I just woke up and it's the, the, the. So let's get the tether out here. This is the largest data that is available in the mod up. Let me show you guys quickly. We haven't even checked. Oh, we bought all the vehicles. So if we go over to Tedders, Tedders and Windrowers, this is the biggest one available now. It's a 17 meter unit. That's what we bought, the Pottinger. Oh, it wasn't a mod. That's a base tether it's a nice unit to have the same will apply here we will do the headland runs first let me just 
zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see why is this thing reversing so weird it needs some baby caressing there ok so let's lower that down switch it on oh wow look how that kicks up that's nice to see uh -huh. I love that I love the animation on it so we're turning loose grass into hay because we're drying it out a bit yeah that's Gucci I love that oh that is so satisfying to watch right there how it kicks it up haha oh. I must say I'm so excited for the Survivor series that we're going to be doing it's actually going to be a Survivor challenge because I'm being challenged to do the Survivor series with like I'm not allowed to do any loans I'm not allowed to lease any vehicles I, I am allowed so far by the commentary that I've received <coughs> sorry guys I am allowed so far to purchase used vehicles but no loans hmm. no leasing yikes so it's gonna it's gonna be a bit involved but I mean that's what we have to do I like it I like it a lot oh the turning radius on this thing is so nice and so far it doesn't look like it's missing anything I've had tethers where if you do this it misses a bit Oh, so satisfying. That is satisfying to watch out. Kicks it up. Kicks it quite high into the air, depending on how big the pile is that you're going through. yeah that's quite nice so we are aiming for November so that we can get the cows started off because that's when we get the most money in now the cow barns are really expensive they are way above a normal person's fireplace so the pricing on there is a bit steep it's not for any average Joe I think the biggest cow shed is like almost one million pounds <laughs> but we'll purchase it and we'll make it happen I just love the animation of this I can't get over it it's so lovely to see it's so satisfying so calming look, just look at that <laughs> how it kicks it up and the height it is quite high I mean it varies that's what I like about it I've seen it once or twice pop up higher than normal so it means it's not a static 
where it stays at one height. Uh, this makes quick work of the just want to catch that little bit down there then I'll go down this row and hit that row there don't tell me I missed it again Oh my golly, now I'm not straight, yeah? Now I should be. Come on, director. That's more like it. Okay. I am missing a little bit here and there. Ah, now I see why. Okay. We'll fix that up quickly. Sorry, guys. OCD kicks in. Okay, the runner should be here at the end, so if I can keep this little runner, obviously as we go further up, I will miss the, the little corner there, but we're going to be eating it up and then back down again, and this field should be ready. It's quite a, I think it will be like, maybe a hundred thousand liters of hay that's gonna help us a lot now I'm not switching this unit off when turning around I'm sending it all the way that looks good so far okay switch that off lift it up fold it up Let's go and get our windrower. Now the windrower is a bit more difficult to run within the field. I found on the one corner it starts going or it starts sliding. I don't know why though, but I think the field is very uneven at that point. It's got a slope to it and that's what's causing us to slide a bit now but this windrow makes quick business of a field I found that I keep on getting this unit stuck here don't know why that is though I must back it through there as you can see my tractor is just oh my happy days I'm gonna try to go through here because see for some reason and I don't know why maybe it's me unfold that unit I think it might be something that I'm doing wrong I don't know let's back up a little bit more that's as far as we can go lower that down and switch it on ok let's get to business I'm gonna go over the line a little bit ensuring that I pick up everything there Now here at the end I need to be careful. There we go. That's looking good. <coughs> that looks like a nice I st basically it's collecting pushing all the hay into one heap what we call a swath so it's a nice hay swath that
Oh, it's looking good. We are golden, baby. Oh yeah, you just go with the flow. It's looking nice. We're really pushing on. We're getting to where we want to be. It's going to be so nice. We'll have enough starter hay to get the cows going. That's going to be next level that. See there the units start going all wonky. I see that I did miss a bit of a on the side there, but that we will collect. It's not a huge drain smash. Lower that down, get it started up. I need my coffee. It's too early in the morning for me. <laughs> what we won't do to bring out content for other viewers. Once we start collecting this, at least now we can just deliver it here to the hay barn. We just need to move the silo king. Moving the things around is only temporary because we will be adding a shed there pretty soon. As you can see we can't do that right now because of our finances. Pick that up. Our finances if the traffic coming our finances is currently standing on three thousand nine hundred and thirty five pounds. It's not the best deal ever but we're not broke yet. So we're haying. Hey, you all? <laughs> hey, everybody. Sounds weird, but we're getting there. One, two, three swath. F we're on swath four now. Should be six swath total. Which I think is great. Problem is you need to switch it off before you turn around because otherwise if it touches, if you leave it on wait, let's straighten this piece out otherwise I'll have to go two or three times in and out again I'm going to miss a little bit by that end there on our left that I will collect with the loading wagon forage wagon whatever you want to call it we're almost there one more spot to go and then we can start collecting and putting it into our A barn if you want to call it A barn I don't know if, I haven't checked yet if the loading wagon can be pulled, I think I did in the previous episode, I don't think it can be pulled with a Massey Ferguson, the Massey is just a bit underpowered, but we'll just make double sure, if it can be pulled by the Massey, we'll load it with a Massey. The Massey is good for small jobs on the farm, and we've got a lot of it. doing a good job I love the little Massey it's a nice tractor to have if you're going high power wise I would love to get my hands on the 9RX Ur honey the 9RX quad track I think the problem is in FS19 I played a bit too much with the KSI H version 
quad track. So 22, I'm tending to go over a bit more to the JD side, the greener side of life. And that was all the windrowing. Not perfect, but it's done. I'm thinking maybe I should park this on the left and my tractor on the right so that when I come to take this out it won't let me just zoom in a bit then it won't give me so much issues because to get this unit out of here oh my dear female dear la di da di from the sun That unit is quite big, but it's still underneath the canopy, so... Oh, my dogs are at it the whole morning. They've been at it since... I think it's to get out of here. The pull-out space is a bit, but I can live with it. Let's put the pickup down now. This, I will time-lapse for you guys. What's going on here? Why is it not picking up that little bit of grass there? But I investigated just no. As you can see, it's collecting. Happy days. We'll just fill the first one and go drop it in. Oh, I don't have to move the silo king. It's got the side drop. I forgot about that. Seems like I'm drunk, yeah. Yeah, I've messed up a little bit, yeah. But no problem, because we need to come clean up here quickly. I'll clean that bit up when we come back up here. So we're doing good so far, we're collecting all our hay. It shouldn't take long for this unit to fill. Because it's not a huge trailer, but still getting the job done. 90% of this will be going, or 99% of this will be going to our cows. That's a good deal all in all. I've still managed to miss a little bit there. Or go a hundred percent in. Woohoo, Schaefer D, be careful, you need to look out for traffic here. Yeah. This is where we want to be. Drop the A in there. So we've got silage in there. We've got A in there. And we've got grass in there. <coughs> Chief but the throat of mine this morning. The only thing I think that we don't have in there is actual straw, but that we're gonna get a lot of when we start doing the wheat harvesting. So yeah, that will fill up quite quickly. Because there's a lot of straw coming from those two fields. We're going to keep this grass field just to help us bounce up. 
we will we might be doing a sugar cane harvest soon I also want to get some sugar going for our production packs and yes we're gonna be pushing on with that I wonder what happened why the texture of the hay changed the reason why I'm saying that is in FS22 there was a certain stage where I was like a white color as soon as it turned to A and then out of the blue it changed to like the greenish hay I like the white a bit more you could see where all the hay was that I can't collect for some reason I don't know why but I think I've got a trick up my sleeve we've missed a little bit of here I oh know that's just landscaping that needs to be done so let's get up there I wanna push get this field done quickly we're already sitting at 81% Didn't I collect this little bit just now? Clearly not. And I'm a bit OCD, sorry guys. That little bit that you see there, we've worked hard to get it. That's why I said every little bit helps if we have a million liters and you just take out one liter or a milliliter then you don't have a million liters anymore <laughs> that's the way I see it there goes a vehicle so we're good to cut in here quickly wow those A swaths really bump you around a bit So let's get that put in there. That is enough for now, but we'll carry on. These are offloading quite quick, I must add. This trailer really helps a lot. I just want to drive around here and see that I didn't miss anything. Okay. I think this is the swath we need to collect, so I'm going to start from the bottom here. For those who haven't seen how I did the grass, it's in the previous episode. Go and check it out so nice that we've got the hay barn or we'll see what we're gonna call that up there it helps so much to have it because now you can just pull in with your trailer and offload into your trailer the percentage of mixes that you want need to be a bit careful though because if you overfill with the wrong item then you problem but we're almost there guys almost almost it's a bit of in gap drive when you're doing this in cap the best thing that you can do is try and keep the center of your hood on the straw swath or the hay swath or the grass swath. Now for me it's a bit difficult here. Yeah. 100% already. Crikey. No vehicles coming. So what you need to do is try and keep the hood in the center there. Let's turn in here before all that all the cars come in here for me it's difficult because I wind rode it and it's not straight 100% straight lines ok 
Okay, so let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. We should... I think this will be our last run. Should be our last run. Oh, no. It's not. Sorry to disappoint. Wow, it does bob around a lot. Collecting our hay. Oh, baby. switch that unit off, let's rush to the top there while we're going straight I love how when you're in cab you can hear the seat moving around let's get it lined up get into it baby This is going to be a longer episode than normal. My survival challenge, I'm going to try my best to get it to 30 minutes per episode, maybe. We'll just see how it goes. You guys will hear me talk about it a lot because I am pretty excited about it. We need all the hay we can get. The reason why I say that is you guys won't believe how quick you run through hay when you actually dealing with the cows it's scary to know how quick you go through it we're at 79 percent full level already 91 oh it's filling up rather quickly let's go get this dropped in there There's no vehicles going from that side. <coughs> Jeepers, guys. I'm coughing my lungs out, yeah? There's the drop marker. Get that offloaded. Yeah, it is offloading quite quick. Which is a good thing. That is what we love. Luckily with this trailer we don't have to wait for the back end to drop down. Just want to make sure that we didn't miss any bits and bobs down the line yeah okay let's go for it let's finish the last of the Aeswath and that's almost the last of it yeah, OCD. Oh, this is the bit that I missed. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There goes the hay field. Haha. <laughs> now I just need to come back and fertilize this again, but that I will do. Then we can quickly put this hay in our silo. Or our hay barn. We'll check now how full it is. Okay, let's check it out quickly. Our hay loft. Hey, we've got 113,465 liters in silage, 103,063. 
for those who haven't watched how I did the silage you can go and check my previous episodes it's in there so this field is helping a lot the thing only thing that we need in there is straw and loose grass obviously but we've got enough grass bales to keep us going we've got quite a few straw bales in there so that's gonna be it for this episode everybody if you've enjoyed watching this please do give the th video a thumbs up if you wanna leave a comment please feel free to do so if you wanna share this video please be my guest please do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you do I'll ask the fairies to send you a thousand earthworms to come and work your backyard and if you don't forget thank you thanks for watching everybody see you guys in the next one cheers